guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a semi-official flip through of Creative Haven's Dream Horses coloring book um, I absolutely love this book and I bought it as a result of watching a flip through when it first came out and I just fell in love with it um, I wanted it for quite a while I had it in my Amazon cart Right now, it is $4.47 on Amazon. However, I did buy this at Michael's for $6.99, only because I was at Michael's and I had it in my hands and I just couldn't put it back because I had wanted it for so long. But um, I happened to go on Amazon today, just flipping through, um, deleting stuff off of my wish list that I have since gotten, and I saw it was only $4.47. So if you guys are interested, I would definitely jump over there and get that because that's definitely a good price. So again, this is Creative Haven, uh, Dream Horses Coloring Book. I love the colors of the cover. I uh, very recently, just like in the last couple of years, fallen in love with the color purple. So that's probably why it appeals to me. Um, I am going to tell you though, if I open up this page, I've already taken some pages out so it's not going to be an official order because there's a few pages that I've already taken out of this book to work on but we'll get into that in a minute so we have this lovely colored cover on the inside as well again this is colored beautifully I love the colors they used and this is a picture that's further on in the book and then here's the cover page I had ripped this out for Miss Abigail to color in but she was not interested because it wasn't mini so, but this would be the first page in the book. And then you flip it over and it says, I'm just gonna move this over here. It says, let dream horses take your creativity to a new level as you relax and color 31 imaginative illustrations of these majestic creatures. Each fanciful and unique image captures the beauty and romance of these beloved animals, all pictured against a variety of fantastical and detailed background designs. Pages are perforated for easy removal if you wish to share or display your finished art. So I love the fact that it's perforated because I like to work. I, I would prefer to remove the page from the book and work on it because then I can move it around, um, spin it around. You guys know how I love to spin, spin my work around when I work on it just to make it more comfortable. Um, and then I don't have to worry about damaging the book well, if I'm working with wet mediums or, or whatever it may be. Additionally, um, if you guys watch some of my latest videos, you'll know that I have a display, um, I don't know, a display stand with a eight and a half by 11 clear plastic sheets that I've been putting, just recently putting my finished pages in. Uh, and that's out on display in my dining room so anybody can flip through and look. Um, so I absolutely love as well that this is an eight and a half by 11 size page because my finished pages I can put in there. So I absolutely love that. Paper's not overly thick. Um, I could be wrong. I'm not an expert when it comes to the papers or paper weights. I'm still learning. Um, but I believe the Creative Haven books are Create Space paper. Feel free, uh, for those of you more knowledgeable than me to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I do not pretend to know, <laughs> still learning. So anyway, so that's the first page. This is not the second page in the book. This is one I just happened to take out previously when I first bought the book in an earlier video to show you guys that the pages were indeed perforated. But this page is really pretty. Um, it's just so cool how it's got paint brushes and paint and, and I love to paint so you could really get really colorful with rainbow colors and all kinds of stuff with this page. This one again, not in order. This is another one I had taken out and I chose this one at random to um, use for a video I will be posting later in my channel. Um, where we'll be testing out some gel pens my husband bought me last night. This one, as you guys are aware, I've already, I was working on and now I've finished. So I was going to post another video yesterday of me still working on it. And what happened is I started working on it 
and I was about 15 or 20 minutes into the video and I had I ended up having company come over um, unbeknownst to me so um, I had to stop the video and I was just like so into this that while my company was over and we were hanging out I kind of just kept going and I finished it I was surprised that I finished it last night but I'm very pleased with how it came out um, you guys probably saw my pictures on Instagram but I'm I'm just in love with it so I'll give you guys a little bit of a close-up so those are stickles there at the top and then also I don't know if you guys can see a lot of the gel pens I used were glitter gel pens so here I'm gonna give you guys a close up but I basically used all gel pens for this except for the very outside black border it was just so large of a space I didn't want to use up all of my gel pen so I actually used um, a black sharpie marker and then those dots on the top and bottom there are actually stickles I absolutely love how this came out so I was really bugging my husband yesterday for his opinion on it and he actually you know I finally got something out of him <laughs> he's like oh I actually like that one better than your um, the last picture you did and for those of you guys who know my last picture I just finished is a uh, was from Serene that's this guy or this lady priest the priestess um, so, what do you guys think? Not necessarily that one came out better than the other, but more the fact that, um, I guess I'm asking, which one is your favorite? Which do you prefer? Leave your vote in the comments, just out of curiosity. I love them both equally. Um, but my husband did say he liked the colors I chose for this one more than this. But I still love, like, I, lo I wish you guys could see her skin in real life because the camera just doesn't do it justice. It came out so cool. Um, but anyway, so yeah, leave your vote in the comments. Which one is your favorite? So anyway, so that's it for per what I've taken out of the book. And this, and the one I just finished is actually in my display stand but I took it out for the sake of this video so I'll put it back in afterwards so now we're getting into the actual book I believe that this is actually the the official second page in the book and it's got trees and flowers and lots of butterflies which is just so pretty oh this one's pretty I love anything celestial and there's quite a few pages in this book that have things that are like celestial themed but look at this you have this big moon here and stars and then you have all these little horses in, inside like these little circles I love this this is so pretty of course you're gonna hear me say that a lot about every page gorgeous 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 this is so pretty all the detail in her hair she's got braids and hearts and flowers and I love the stonework with like the vines and flowers so pretty this is you know this could be very country like a beige color scheme to the horse I, I just so much potential here I love this so pretty and then this one you have these look like Chinese fans Oh yeah, and then look at this. I didn't notice this before. I love this. Every time I look in this book, I see more details I didn't see before. But there's a dragon here on the horse. That is really cool. Like a Chinese dragon. And then you have the Chinese fans. Oh, and there's a big fan behind here that I didn't even notice before. You've got these fans. There's a big fan there. It's very pretty. And this one, a bunch of roses. And some flower design in the background, lots of flowers. This one I wouldn't say is one of my favorites. So this is where, you can see, this was where one of the pages were that I've already taken out. I'm not, I couldn't tell you which one, I don't remember. But So this one, I'm not like super excited by this one, but it's pretty fun. There's a lot of mandala type things. I suppose you could go in and add your own little details to some of these other ones if you wished. Again, I'm not wicked big into patterns, so to speak. I like to color things, 
Um, so this one I'm not like super excited about, but this could be fun. There's a lot of little things you could go in and color. Love this one. Very Celtic themed, Celtic knots everywhere. You've got this, um, the sword and shields here. Oh, the harps. This is gorgeous. Love this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Do you like blacks and greens and golds? This is simply stunning. This is very fairy tale castle. She's just dripping in flowers, or he. Um, it's almost like a window mosaic around here. Just love it. And again, here's another one where I removed one of the pages. I think this one, if I remember correctly, had is the. This is where the Egyptian one is that I colored. I think this was here. The reason I say that is because. If you guys watched my earlier video where I picked this page, I couldn't decide what page to do. So I literally did this. I went and opened it up to a random page and said, that's the one I'm doing. And this isn't one of the ones that I was like, oh, I can't wait to do that one, even though I found it very interesting. Um, so I took it out. And I said, well, I said that's what I was going to do. So that's what I was going to do. So I took it out. And then I, and then I saw this one behind it. And I was like, oh, that was one of my favorites. I would have loved to get that one. However... With that being said, this just goes to show you, it doesn't matter what the picture is, you can make it completely your own because I absolutely love how this came out. So, you know, I wasn't excited about it necessarily, but I stuck to my guns and I did it and I absolutely love how, how it came out. So, moving on, now I'm a little bit of a gabber. This one's pretty, this one I imagine to be like all jewels and like jewelry you can just color everything like pendants and jewel tones and I just that could be very pretty this one's like a kind of like paisley design like um like for those of you who uh know your embroidery I am a wicked big embroidery buff I used to do it all the time but this is very Jacobian um oh and see here again was another one that um was in here. Actually, I think this is the one that I'm going to be coloring in my next video. Yes, but this reminds me of like Jacobian embroidery. So pretty. Love this. I miss my embroidery, but that's another hobby that collects a lot of stuff and I can only have one collection hobby and right now, well, coloring has definitely become my all-time fave. I love, love, love this one. It is gorgeous. It's very celestial universe you've got the planets you've got the stars you have the sun you have all these little details that are just so pretty and something about this page reminds me of lisa frank and it, i think it is because of the planet but it just completely reminds me of lisa frank i absolutely loved lisa frank when i was a little girl this is definitely up there is one of my all-time favorites in this book however there are a lot of teeny tiny tiny details in this but that's the case with a lot of the pages and that's why um, this type of coloring book is really good for just flat coloring um, not necessarily shading I didn't do any shading in the other picture I did um, I did do like a gradient where I went from yellow to like red which I'm really glad I did because that really made the picture just pop but, um, so you could do that, but you can't really do a lot of shading necessarily. There's not a lot of space, but just for flat coloring with gel pens or fine liners, this kind of book is just perfect for that. And I had so much fun just coloring with gel pens. It's, I mean, I couldn't stop. It was literally that much fun. This is another one I absolutely love. There's celestial elements in it. Again, little moons and crescents. Then you've got all these mandala shapes, but it's a little bit more random. And I love how this kind of looks like a, like a snow globe up here. Love this one. So pretty. Again, one of my top favorites. Let's see, this one's a little bit more simple than some of the other pages, but not any less beautiful. I love the swirling, scrolly type design. So pretty. Another similar, a lot of swirls, and you've got the three horses here, a lot of little tiny details. So this is kind of one of those, 
I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorites, but you could probably, you know, surprise yourself and just make it stunning. I'm sure you could. I'm sure I can. Here's another one, not necessarily one of my favorites, but it is very cool, very unique. I like, I like the, like the stones and stuff down here. So, you know, not one I'll run to, but it is neat. Here's another one I love, 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 love this one. You have the tree, which has got an amazing amount of detail in it. Tucker, that's the timer. Can you turn it off, please? I'm making a video. Sorry, guys, that's my son's video game timer. Thank you. You're welcome. So we have so we have this tree and it has lots of detail. And then you've got all these little hearts, and then you have horseshoes, and then you have like all these little tassel details. It's so cool. Very unique. Again, this one's simpler, whereas there's not a lot of fine details in it, but you have um, the horses kind of peeking out of this horseshoe. Can you please get off the table? Here you go. There's lots of flowers. There's a guitar. <clears throat> this one's cool. Not my usual, but there is something I like about it. And this is like out in the desert. You've got... Um, these rock formations out here, you can make a beautiful gradient sky. I love all the little cactuses and shrubbery. And then I love that the horses are um, spotted horses. Very cool. You can make like a camel horse out. <laughs> you can make a camel horse. Tucker says we could make a camel horse. I suppose we could if we wanted to. Can you please get off the table? Thank you. So this one's cool because they incorporated ocean elements into the horse so it's kind of i made this lame joke before but it's a seahorse ha, ha, ha. so um these could be like anemones and then you've got all these seashells and the hair and then like what looks like seaweed this is very cool very different and then you, they have another one here this one's pretty it's like a beach horse coming through the waves got some seaweed coming up the side you've got your seashells down here this one is very pretty and this one is cool. Again, you've got a bunch of stars, which I love. You have a little owl friend over here. Um, the other Creative Haven book that I'm really interested in is the owls one. So this is kind of cool because you got the little owl chilling out over here. And then you've got these two with this beautiful framework around it of flowers. So a little bit simpler, but I like this. It's pretty. You've got this one. There's a lot of... Um, paisley type designs here and then you've got three the three horses and they're very pretty i like the way the eyes were done this one's cool there's two of them again and they're running on the beach so this is obviously like a tropical location you've got tropical flowers you've got some parrots you've got the little sailboat and the sunset so you can again make this like a sunset sky this would be lots of this would be very bright and vibrant <clears throat> you have this one here hairs flowing everywhere you've got these flowers down here so again this is probably a simpler design but very pretty oh okay so this is the one here that is on the front cover see there it is to color your very own or to copy the front if you so wish um so this is very pretty. I love that it's, you know, she's on a, I don't, it, it could be a he. I'm calling them all she's, I apologize, but it could be a he. But I just love that it's on a rainbow road. At least that's what I envisioned it to be anyway. And then all these beautiful flower work all around. This one is very cool. Um, again, another unique one. You've got the two of them and there are peacock feathers worked into the main which i just thought was really cool that could be a lot of fun and then oh okay so here the back cover there is another page colored and this is that paradise one that we were just talking about with the parrots and the sailboat and stuff so this isn't quite as bright and vibrant as i would imagine coloring it but i love the purple hues because like i told you guys i am addicted to purple 
And then here's the back. Oh, okay, so here you go. Again, here's another one. This is that snow globe one with the celestial stuff. So there it is. So, for those of you interested, oh, look at that. Retail, $5.99. I'm telling you guys, I'm not, I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure I spent $6.99 at <laughs> Michael's. But, hey, when you want it, you want it. So there's the, um, there's the barcode information for those of you who are interested. You never know. That's something you're interested in. And then, um, you can find more creative haven color and books at doverpublications.com slash creative haven. And that completes the flip through. I will be posting another video very soon. Um, I'm going to try and film it tonight as well, as long as Abigail is obliging, but she's very much want, wants mommy's attention tonight. Um, I will be posting another video either tonight or soon with some gel pens and we'll actually be coloring a page in this. We're going to color um, this page here. Mom, what is Abby? She's upstairs. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this flip through and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye. Mom